What's up everyone, it's Tim here from Tutorials Hub. Now in today's video, we're going to take a look at Llama Coder by Together AI. Now this is a new AI coder that is uh, basically competition to Cursor AI, Windsurf, AI, uh, Bull.new and other you know AI tools like Lovable.dev as well. So yeah, if you ever wanna code with you know some of these models right here, uh, Llama, Quen, uh, DeepSeek V3, um, then, you know, stick around and, you know, let's see how this will pan out and how we can turn our idea into an app. So, um, basically, what you have to do is just you start here and what we're going to use is we're going to use a Llama 3.3 model, which is, I think, the best Llama model. Uh, I'm not sure exactly, but I think it is. Quen is a new um, LLM uh, or la large language model. Uh, you can check out, we actually did a review on that on our channel as well. But we're going to start with this. This, by the way, for those of you who are not familiar, if you actually Google this, because I didn't know what that is, it's basically beautiful design components that you can copy and paste into your apps. So this basically gives a better visual look to the apps. And then what I like to do is I like to have low quality faster, just so I can show you how this works and how uh, Llama Coder is performing. So again, this is like a review and tutorial. So let's build a very simple app for the starter. So build me a ROAS return on ad spent calculator with premium design and make sure to center it in the middle of the page. Add hover effects and also animations. Make it premium. This is what I, what I like to do. Then all you simply go and click create your app and this will start creating your app. Now, as you can see on the left side, you pretty much have you know the, um, the inputs, right? On the right side, you actually have uh, the app that actually we have an error here. So this is the first error. So what you can do is you can say, okay, let's see the error. So cannot read proper under defined reading primary. Okay, let's copy this and let's say fix this. I cannot preview. Can you fix it? This is the problem. And let's see. So we'll need to wait a little bit uh, right here because it's a new, it's a new, um, it's a new platform, right? Sometimes that happens. So as you can see right here, we've got a ROAS calculator we can you know, calculate the ad spend here. And as you can see, we get the ROAS, right? So obviously we can build off of this and we can start building more, um, more applications on top of this. So for example, we can say, can you add a graph when someone, when a user clicks calculate ROAS button? <clears throat> Let's see this. So right now we have a code. Then again, as you can see, let's see how this pans out. So as you can see, this is how it looks like, right? Obviously it's a little bit off. That's something that I kind of saw in terms of the, um, in terms of the like perfection and direct, you know, the um, way that it's generating the code and everything. I think precision, that, that's the word that I was, I was looking for. Precision is much better in the bold.new and Vertcell. So if you're using Vertcell or Vertcell, however you pronounce it, VO by Vertcell, or bold.new, the precision is much better. That's what I've found. Uh, the graph is not centered. It's going out of the box, as you can see. And then it will, went in the code, it will fix up the code. So let's see what it will come up with now. So this is actually now fixed. Okay, this now looks good, right? And then if you wanna share, you can share this and the, the app is uh, copied to the clipboard. And let's say if we go to incognito here, this is how it's going to look like if you share this with someone, as you can see. So you can go here and you can pretty much, you know, uh, start, you know, uh, testing out the app. So that's one thing that you can do, right? So if you go back, um, there's obviously other things we can, um, we can, or other uh, large language models we can use. For example, DeepSeek V3, 
like that could be um, a thing that we can use uh, again we can use a faster one um, let's use a time zone dashboard or like a Pomodoro timer let's use that one and let's see what it kill what it can create here so the Pomodoro timer should be a very easy uh, task for deep seek so let's see how it will perform again this is still you know in the phases of development so it should you know it should be not that flawless right so uh yeah let's see what it will happen here it's still writing code um i don't know what this um code is in what language but you can see it here we'll get the language by the way here so you'll get a full explanation here so let's see this so far it looks good however i think bold.new uh and lovable and vertel actually performed better in terms of uh the generations also what i noticed that sometimes what happens is the loading is very very slow because if you like refreshed here if you go to preview as you can see cannot assign the only property so the preview is actually broken right so as you can see sometimes that happens you know it just breaks down so and then what we can do is we can go back and let's try to do it with a llama 3.3 and then let's do the faster one and let's see what it will came up with so so far llama 3 model actually gave me a better um yeah it actually gave me a better and right now this is actually not correct card for it is not defined we have a new error so yeah what i wanted to say is llama 3 model actually gave me a much much better output than any model in uh llama coder which is uh kind of unfortunate but as you can see i still cannot see the preview so let's check what is up what's up with the preview here as you can see we finally got the preview here so the preview is working so kind of the the um the review here is definitely uh, there are better ai coders out there uh if you want to use um you know if you want to use this to build your own app i would suggest to use llama 3.3 model which is the best model so far that worked better for me however you can also experiment with other models as well uh, also this one is good if you just you know enable this you will get much better um, you know beautifully designed components and then obviously you can try this some of these apps or you can go and build your own app right um, but again for bigger apps, I wouldn't really suggest uh, Llama Coder, although it's a great, um, you know, app and platform, AI platform. Uh, it's built on several different LLMs, so you're basically relying on LLMs, uh, large language models. So, yeah, if you want like more in-depth tutorial on Llama, I can do that. And if you want more AI tutorials, check out some of our other videos on our channel. We're uploading, again, two to three uh, videos per day on AI, so definitely check that out and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.